Giancarlo be the backs are here. Hello creatives, I'm Vanessa and if you're new to the channel, welcome, make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed, you know, hit the subscribe button down there and like the video. If you do like it, subscribe on this channel, I just do everything beads related, especially beaded bags, okay? So if you want to learn how to do your beaded bags, this channel is for you. And to all my old and returning subscribers, thank you so much. You guys, we are at 8k subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much. And I'm not going to waste any of your time. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the Ankara beaded bags. You know, everything you need to know about the Ankara beaded bags. So one of my lovely subscribers um, sent me a message that she wanted me to do a tutorial on the beaded bags. I know you guys have sent me so many bags that you want me to do. I'm going to get to them, guys time is against me and recording the tutorials too is not easy so i have a lot to unpack in this video so you guys stay tuned and share this video please do share this video we have two ankara beaded bags to tackle today and they are of two variations there's this one as you can see the material is inside with the glass showing then there's this one that the material is outside and yeah, so these are the two styles for the Ankara beaded bags. And I just want to say, I am going to post that tutorial. If you guys share this video as much as possible. I'm going to post the tutorials and everything related to these bags. If you guys share these videos as much as you can, right? Just try to share the videos as much as you can. Get new people to subscribe to the channel. And you guys, we are going. I'm going to be dropping the tutorial for each of these bags and everything else related to the Ankara beaded bags on a separate playlist so you can access it easily, okay? I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of options in each of the tutorials on what to expect when you want to make your own bags. So you don't need to, you know, stay. by the way, I did make my outfit, okay? Let me stand up a little bit. So I crocheted the sleeves, I crocheted these sleeves and added the Ankara at the bottom, then I made the top and I added this little patch on my trouser. I'm going to show you pictures that I took in church. Alright, so yeah, I did make my entire outfit. So um, another thing I want to say in this video is from this video and all the subsequent videos I'm going to be posting, most of my tutorials are not going to be that beginner friendly anymore like if you don't know anything about beads i am very sorry you you might find it difficult so like i'm trying to go, i'm going to try to explain as much as i can but you might find it difficult to understand because i have already made an entire playlist for beginners people that want to learn how to make beaded bags i've made that entire playlist from the beginning to the end of everything you need to know about making beaded bags so that place is already on there that's why i'm not going to be going in depth with explanations on my tutorials anymore because i assume that you already have an idea on how to make your beaded bags so every tutorial i post after this video i am doing it based on the assumption that you already know the basics of beaded bags so all my tutorials from here are going to be like intermediate advanced okay i'm not going to be saying um probably not in all the videos but some but i'm not going to be saying Pick three beads, put one here, one here, cross. I hope you guys understand. I might say it, but if I say do a mat of like 10 by 5, hopefully you should understand where the width is 5 and the length is 10. Hopefully you should be able to understand because I'm assuming that you already know. If you don't know how to bead, that is why I created that entire playlist to learn how to bead from scratch. Okay, so go and check out. If you don't understand anything go to the playlist and there's a ton of classes there you can type in the class that you want to search for how to cut your fishing line how to tie your fishing line how to turn your fishing line all of that i have it in a video for each class on each of those processes okay so i'm not going to be saying turn like this turn like this i'm going to be showing you how to turn if i believe it's a very tricky bag or something i hope i'm making sense I really hope I'm making sense. Also, I am begging you guys, when a tutorial is put on the channel, please, please try to watch the entire video. Because in the video, I'm going to say I'm using 8mm beads with a 0.7 fishing line. And someone is still going to come to the comment section and ask me, what fishing line did you use? 
and that tells me that I am literally just wasting my time and truly the comments I want to see is people asking me if I use um, this type of bead or if I decide to increase the size or reduce the size is it going to work I can try to answer those type of questions but honestly you guys should also try to be creative try if this type of bead is going to work with this bag as well because it's beading is a creative process you don't have to do copy and paste with exactly what I'm doing you have um, you, you should try to at least come up with your own stuff you know especially if you're doing it for business so that your own things are going to look unique to you I hope I'm making sense I really hope I'm making sense yes so please try to watch each and every part of the video right okay about our Ankara beaded bags please guys watch the videos to the end watch the entire videos do not skip any part I'm going to be giving you options I'm going to be telling you to do this or that I'm going to be saying that you should do this instead of doing this or maybe try to do it this way and see how it turns out I'm going to be dropping a lot of information that you don't need to skip and I'm going to say it so that you guys don't ask me the same question in the comment section okay I like to see you guys comments but seriously please try to um, you know go through the entire video first the reason why I put all that information out there is that you guys should listen to it and not that you come and repeat what I've answered in the video in the comment section as well I really hope I am making sense so I apologize for not posting a lot on the channel by the way um, a lot has been going on a lot has been going on I've, but the main issue is I've not been feeling the creative process like I have been burnt out I thought I was fine at the time that I've been dropping tutorials but I realized I was not Right, so I just want to add that I'm going to put a separate playlist for the glass bags, especially for the Ankara beaded bags. And one of the videos there, I've already done it on the channel, and it's the measurements for each glass bag, okay? So you can go and watch that video and check the measurements for a square, a rectangle, um, the number of spaces that you need to skip. And I also have in that playlist... Is going to have um, a tutorial for how to DIY drill your own holes into your glass okay so make sure you check out for that playlist as well creatives please share this video ask people to subscribe people who are interested in making their car reader bag because it is on your number of views on this video and your shares that is going to determine whether I put a price on this video or not on this tutorial or not okay yeah so please share this video so that everyone should anticipate the coming of the tutorials of the Ankara beaded bags if you want to see more of the behind the scenes of me making the Ankara beaded bag with my matching outfit I think I had a tiny bow tie here yep should I put this on my head I'm not fond of balls too much. Let me just take that off. But yeah, I think that is everything that I wanted to say. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching the videos. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel. If you have any questions, you can ask them down in the comment section. Um, you can get to me. I'm going to leave my social media or Instagram handle down in the, in the description box. So you can see it also 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 i am going to be creating a playlist of the different ways that you can attach beads to your boards okay and i did i've already done oh um, how the different methods i already have tutorials on the channel on how i've done different ways to attach beads to the beat to your acrylic board because I remember I saw a comment saying that the person wanted me to do a tutorial specifically to show how to um, attach your beads to a heart shape and all of them basically use the same method you just need to you choose one type of method to use to attach your beads to your acrylic beaded bag okay some may work more than others but you just need to try it uh, we cannot do, I cannot do every single shape, glass shape 
in the world you know there are so many methods so i'm going to put all the different methods that i've created tutorials on the channel or all the glass bags bigger glass bags the playlist i'm going to put it up leave it down in the comment section or in the description box so that you can go ahead and check which tutorial try it on your own glass board and see if it works okay right also for the ankara bigger bags please remember you don't need to use ankara you could use whatever material that you have it must not be ankara it could be satin silk um you know the rich aunties type of material you can go ahead and use that you could use lace if you think it's going to look good you can go ahead and use basically this tutorial is for any sort of material okay but i know ankara is like something that we like to wear and if you want to match it up the way i did you can go ahead and you know watch the video and try all of that i think i think i think that's everything i think i've said everything i need to say if i forget to say anything i'm going to leave it down in the comment section so make sure you check it out so that's basically it thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you when the first tutorial drops and subsequent tutorials so that's it bye